Hi, I'm Tony Richards. Today I'm in Carmel, California, Carmel by the sea, and I'm on the hunt for storybook cottages. The storybook cottages of Carmel were uh, started by Hugh Comstock in the 20s. He came here from back east and bought up some cheap lots and uh, started building these storybook cottages. So I'm going to go try and find a few of them. So come on, come on with me. We'll check it out. Now I am in downtown Carmel. Architect Robert Stanton and builder MJ Murphy were also responsible for some of the cute architecture around town. These aren't necessarily their buildings, but I'm really going to focus on searching for Hugh Comstock buildings. Here's one, the Dumas shop. This is what they call the Dumas house. And the sign here says, welcome to Piccadilly Park. This used to be the site of the Piccadilly nursery. Now it's these cute little shops. And we're going to go down there and take a look down and back. Looks like three little cottages to me. You know, one here, one down there, and this one here. This is the, the tuck box built in 1927 by Hugh Comstock. We're not sure if it was his office or a house. We do know in, in around 1930, it was a restaurant called Sally's. Sally's? And now it's a, a tea room, breakfast place, uh, luncheon type of thing. But it's really whimsical in its uh, design. H Hugh Comstock wasn't necessarily a builder or an architect, but he sure had a flair for storybook cottages. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a peek. This is the Gretel Cottage that Hugh Comstock built in 1925. And then um, on the same lot next door is the Hansel House, uh, built in 1924, I believe. We'll go over and take a look. This is the Hansel Cottage that Hugh Comstock built in 1924, where his wife made and um, dolls in, the Otsi Totsi, the rag dolls. We built this uh, cottage for her, her workshop and studio. It's uh, a little bit bigger than a dollhouse. Really cute. What's significant about this Hansel house is this is the first story about cottage. That this is the, the the one that started it all. I think there were almost thirty story about cottages eventually built around Carmel. There might be twenty one left, but this one is the one that started it all right here. That's why it's significant.
This is the, the brown house on Santa Fe Street. And the sign says Storybook Cottage, and it sure is. They even painted it pink. Okay, we're still on Santa Fe Street, and this is called Our House. A uh, little storybook cottage, again, painted pink. This is the uh, Ober Cottage where uh, Hugh Comstock actually lived. It's, it's more like a real house than the story of the cottage. But um, and this is Stephen Pistrew. Uh, so, that's the roof on it. But what I really like is the garage is made out of stone, uh, Carmel stone. And uh, I don't think garage has to match the house. I think makes it look more like a, a barn or a stable or a carriage house, you know, so uh, instead of having everything match, it's more uh, rustic like this. I really like how they did that. And then the rock walls match the garage. It all ties it together. Then next door, this is built in 25. Next door is the studio. It was built in 27. And I suppose it was part of the same property at one time. I'm not sure. We're going to go over and take a look at the studio, too. This is the Comstock Studio next door to the Ober House. Uh, the Comstock Studio was built in 1927. And uh, my favorite part of it is those rambling roses up there along the, the trellis. I guess it's some kind of studio. I don't know. Here's the birthday house um, designed in 1924 by Comstock. I liked it because it was in an oak forest. And here we have the doll's house from 1928 and the fables cottage, 1928. Very charming. And here's the uh, yellow bird house also from 1928. Why it's not yellow, I don't know. This is a newer house that is uh, built to look blend in with the neighbors. It uh, looks like an old house, but I don't think it is. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the little tour of Carmel Cottages. See you next time. Thanks for watching.